Hey guys, Mauro here. It's been several times that I that I watch videos on internet, that I watch videos on YouTube when people people are talking about um, what I'm, I'm uh, they're talking about the things that you need to succeed. And it's very common that I hear people that say you have to be very competitive. You have to be very very competitive. And it uh, I need to I, I want to clarify that competitive thing they're talking about because there is a there there is a lot of there is a lot of people out there that want to be athletes they want to be or they want to be businessmen whatever their goal is and they say you have to be very competitive and they have the idea that many times i think that in um no no it don't, it don't, it's not only that only happens in the u.s but the many many countries when they say you have to be competitive, the idea that comes to our mind is a cutthroat competitive guy. Like you, you have to crush the competition. You have to destroy that guy. You know, you, you gotta go. You just, you just, you just gotta humiliate your opponents, whoever you're competing against. You know, and when, and that's one thing that we're teaching our kids. And uh, a lot of times, the person that is that is giving you the advice to be competitive doesn't really they don't know or they don't or they don't clarify that okay, let's talk about the the two different ways of being competitive. The competitive guy that is like kind of like a boxer with a big mouth. Oh, I'm gonna destroy this guy, you know. He's gonna, you're not gonna last one round. I'm gonna totally crush you, you know. This, the, the competitive guy that is com, com, uses more comparison, that comes more from ego orient. It's, it's an ego oriented competitiveness. And, and it's, um, it's more, anything that comes from ego, it's, is Ego is the Halloween outfit of insecurity. It's as simple as that. Whatever comes from ego comes from insecurity. That comes from trying to prove something to other people and from validation. So that kind of competitiveness, that's not going to help you. That The, the only thing that is going to do is that you're going to develop the mentality that if you don't cross your competition or you don't win, you're... You, you develop more that idea that you are such an idiot. You are wasting your time. You are worth nothing. You cannot even beat this guy. You cannot even sell this much. You cannot even finish this project, whatever. It's just self-destructive when you fail. And the thing is, you're going to fail lots of times. A lot of times. You, if you really, If you really committed to become super successful to reach excellence and whatever you want to do you are going to fail so many times i mean countless times and every and, and when you're competitive face and when you're that kind of you if when you're competitive oriented ego i mean when you are ego oriented competitive sorry that's what, that's the thing that happens your the measure of your, the measure of yourself or your self worth your self image how good you are what you're worth is completely based on how well you did on if you reach the goal or not if you got to sell what you wanted or not if you got to beat who you wanted to beat or not if you got the girl or not and so many whatever it is that is that's a that's a measurement you can be really good at what you do but in the end if you don't get the result and if you don't get the result that you want you you're a piece of shit that's as simple as that the the effort it doesn't matter the progress doesn't matter it's just, it's all about the result it's all about the result and that's the reason why take this coming from someone that that was competitive competitive from Juniors, playing tennis from juniors to professional and college. I have seen so many, so many talented kids that I have that, that, that I met when they were young, when they were probably 10, 11, some of them even younger than that. And I see them playing throughout the years and they, they, they become really good players.
but I I can see that they're they're not really enjoying the, what they're doing because the dad it's, it's it's the parents putting the pressure on them and pushing them and and forcing them to train more than they want. So what happens in the end when they turn 18, they say. That's it. There are my rackets. Fuck this shit. Bye, bye, bye. I don't want to know nothing about tennis. Nothing at all. The, the, moment they, the moment they can be independent, they just say, I don't want to know. I don't want to see a racket for the rest of my life. Why? Because that cutthroat comp competitive idea that their parents had, the only thing that did is that you're just pushing the, the kid away from enjoying it, from, from wanting it, from, from becoming his purpose to become a tennis player. So when, when, when the day comes that they're free to decide whatever they want to do, they say, that's it. That's it. Burn the rackets. So you got to focus more on the competi on competition that, that is more development. Development. You cannot jump from being zero to ten. You cannot jump from being an, an average football player to being an amazing football player. You have to develop. You have to be out there and feel... Feel the punch, feel the power, feel the burning. You, you gotta burn, you gotta get, that's how you get a determination. That's how you form your character. That's how you form your endurance. That's, that's how you know your limits. That's how you, that, that's how you know your tolerance to risk and pain and failure and all that. You, you, you gotta get hit. You, you, you gotta go through, through all those years, but you develop. How do you don't build all those things from one day to another? It's, 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 it's throughout the years. So you have to focus on the development. It's competitive, but you want to be developed. Focus on development, not on ego, okay? Number two, external factors make you dependable. When your ego, when your ego focus comp competitive, you compare yourself so you depend on external factors. You depend on the other guys, so which, which is pretty much saying you will never ever know your full potential instead of saying i don't care what the guy on line one or two or three or five or six or seven are gonna do when i'm swimming i'm just gonna put everything every fiber of my body is gonna go out there i'm gonna put everything i got out there i'm not gonna look at this guy or this guy next to me i'm just gonna focus on what i'm doing and i'm, I, I'm gonna push myself to practice as hard and as consistently as possible, as purposefully, not just go and practice. You got to be purposeful. What what is your goal? What do you want to do in the practice? You gotta have okay. If I'm if I'm making this time this month, by the end by by the end of the second or third week, I gotta make this time. It's gotta be a purposeful practice. You cannot depend on external factors because you're pretty much allowing people to say here. You, you, you're my king, you're my queen. Tell me what I'm supposed to do. How far am I supposed to get? And then you get there and you probably get there and, and then you stop there. You don't know how far you, you could have gone. You got, you, you have to stop doing that. Those of you, there are going to be some of you that know Andre Agassi. Well, Andre Agassi was one of the best tennis players in the world. He got to be number one in the 80s. Okay, uh, Agassi was a rebel. The guy did no one. He hated tennis because his dad made him play tennis. So he hated it. So the first, from the time he started playing professional, let's say uh, around 15, 16, to probably 21, 22, he was, he was not a contender. He got to be number two, number three, number four in the world. He beat everybody, but he was not winning the major tournaments. He was not winning. Any, he will win small tournaments, never any of the four top tournaments in the world. He never won. He, had, he, he, wouldn't win, he didn't win Wimbledon, the French Open, the U.S. Open, or Australia. Until he decided and said, you know what? I'm just, I'm, I'm just a showman. Because I'm not enjoying tennis until he said, you know what? I'm going to do it for myself the way I want it. Because of me, that's when he completely, all that low that he had the pressure on him and all the pressure that his dad, and he talks about that in his book. He said he, ha he hated the fact that his dad pretty much forced him to play tennis and, and, and ever since he was little and say, when I decided to make it about me, that's that's when he started enjoying it and that's when he won Wimbledon 
he will watch the one tournament nobody thought he would win. Boom, he won. And then from then, gone, up. Started winning, 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 winning. But it was not until he said, you know what, that's it. I'm not doing this for any other people. I, I, I got to do it for myself. I got to enjoy it. So don't depend on other people. You got to find, you have to find your motivation inside of you. Not, not, never. You will never develop your full potential if you want, if you want to be really good because of the house, because of, of the cars or because of the women or whatever you want. Never. You will never reach your full potential. You will just not know it. The last one is, you have to build your miracle. It means you have to build what you want. But you have to raise your status. You have to raise your self-image. You have to... Th if, you're, if you're a football player and you're trying for... If you're in high school and you're, and you're trying for the football team, if you're, if you're trying... If your goal is to say, I just want to make it to the football team, I just want to make it, I just want to be part of the football team, that's what you're going to be. If you're lucky, that's how far you're going to get. If you're lucky. If you say, I want to be one of the best players, not in a school, in the state. So you really raise a bar. And when you really raise a bar, you have to really raise the bar competing when you're playing training what time you go to sleep what do you do on the weekends with your friends you gotta really change things that's the only way that's the only way you're gonna get high that's the only way you're gonna get up there for those of you that watch the videos of people that say oh you know what you don't have to work so hard to to be successful you just have to enjoy it and when you enjoy things it doesn't feel like work it doesn't feel like training no that's bs guys you can love it I did love tennis, but there were times when I say I I I I, I hated practicing because it's very different the, the kind of stuff that you want to be doing in the sport or whatever you're doing than saying okay you gotta run sprints and then you're gonna be hitting you're gonna be running and hitting balls from one side to another back and forth one two three twenty twenty five times or the whole basket I mean it 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 don't it's not true that oh no it's, it's gonna be easy you don't have to work it's it's gonna be hard. And you know what? It's very get out of your head the idea that there is a there is a way. I can I can find a magic potion, or they just have to keep looking on the internet or programs that they sell on the internet, or this guy that is talking about it, uh, and I will find the magic of the easy training, and then I'll become number one. Not working so hard. Fuck no, no, it's not gonna happen. You're gonna have to work your ass off. You're going to have to put everything out there and you're going to have to change what you have between your ears. It's as simple as that. If you don't change that, like major change, you don't have to, to, to think that it's going to be major in one week or two weeks. Start little by little. But if you don't change that, it's not going to happen. It's as simple as that. And you're going to end up being where you are right now. So those were the three things that I wanted to talk about, guys. Open your eyes. You really 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 have to come sit down and say okay i'm going to commit to this no matter what can it be done yes it can be done it's gonna be easy nope it's not gonna be easy but you're gonna learn to love the battle you learn it you love it doesn't mean that you're gonna be in love with it all the time because there's gonna be plenty of days where you don't feel like training but it's, it becomes a new you it has to become a new you all right Okay, guys, just wanna, I just want to clarify about it. You got to be competitive thing. You got to know which way of competitive you want to be. Not the ego, insecure, competitive. Want to be a show-off kind of person. No. Develop. Develop competitive. Little by little. But you got to throw everything you got out there. All right. Okay, guys. Um, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.